Hey, seventh grade history, it is Friday, and I'm here again on my back porch, and I wanted to talk to you uh, this morning about uh, about chapter 11. I know we've just finished chapter 10. Hopefully, you've gotten your test in. Hopefully, you've taken care of everything, and you're just kind of sitting back and waiting for the weekend, and I'm, I'm hoping you're enjoying yourself. Um, chapter 11 is really going to continue the saga of America from Jackson, and we're really going to see more westward expansion. But the one thing that I'm really excited about in um, in chapter 11 is uh, what we call in the Industrial Revolution. And we'll talk more about that next week as we get uh, into chapter 11, but I really like the Industrial Revolution. Um, it is the idea of taking things that we used to do by hand and using machinery to do it. That is the modern version of the way we do things. Um, the most obvious is the is the uh, in farming is the use of the tractor versus the use of a horse and plow. Um, up to this point into in America's history, you would have seen people using a horse and a plow, and now you're going to begin to see them use machinery to do that. That it takes invention, and one of the things that I think makes America great and makes America exciting is our idea that we invent things. Um, we don't always do it uh, the cheapest, but we do invent a lot of things. And the technology that I'm working with right now to talk to you uh, is an American invention. Probably put together in some um, Asian sweatshop, but at least we invented it. And so that's what we're going to see in Chapter 11, a lot of great inventions that not only changed that time period, but changed all the way up to where we live today. And so some of the things that you're going to see are the beginnings of the modern life that we live in the 21st century. So hopefully that's uh, going to be something you're excited about. Um, and and I, again, I just want to give you the highlights of chapter 11. So if you have any problems or questions, certainly send me an email and I'll get back to you as quick as I can. Hope you're, uh, hope you're enjoying your weekend. Uh, take it easy and have a great day.